Efforts to stabilize the Del Mar Bluffs have been going on for years. Sandak has been rolling out a multi-phase plan, but they had to speed up the timeline recently after a big chunk of the bluffs crumbled in February, bringing the train tracks closer to the edge. ABC 10 News anchor Mary McKenzie joining us live from Del Mar. Mary, we expect to hear about what they've been doing to secure those bluffs. This massive project Sandag has been working on since 2003, but you could say erosion had a significant head start to say the least. So they call this a midterm solution that they've been working on. What they would really like to see long term is the removal and changing of location of all of these train tracks that run right through here in Del Mar. Not only would relocating the tracks take it out of the way of mother nature, which eventually will catch up to us, um, but also put it in a position where we can have higher speed and double track through this section of the corridor. That's the long term solution, but it has stalled numerous times due to the enormous cost of the project, including tunneling under Del Mar, potentially at a cost of five billion dollars. So for now, this midterm solution is going to uh, start that fifth phase that they're going to update today. They've completed phase four in January. They did step up that timeline for phases five and six because of the collapses that have happened recently, including the one in February. But over the last 18 years, they have drilled 230 support columns 60 to 70 feet into the ground of the bluffs. They've also improved drainage. They've added retaining walls. All of this to buy them another 30 to 50 years, which Sandeg hopes is enough time to get a longer term solution into place, which could take decades to uh, get approved, to plan, to implement. But Sandeg presenting to the Del Mar City Council later on today specifically to give an update on this latest phase of the project. Reporting live in Del Mar, Mary McKenzie, ABC 10 News.